What's up everybody, Andrissi here. Just wanted to do a video on my backup battery for my aquarium. Don't see too many of these unless people are going full out and getting, you know, home generators and everything. This is kind of a cheap solution for a few hours of protection. Um, this is the CyberPower 1500VA 900 watts. It's one of the bigger ones you can get for a good price. I mean, when I say that, I mean, they're roughly around $150. Uh, you can get bigger ones, but you know they get outraged. You could end up spending a couple thousand dollars. I wasn't looking to do that. You know, a couple thousand dollars, I could just put a backup generator on my house. But anyways, I'm gonna put in the description and try to put a um, link in this video on the screen to show you the formula I use to calculate runtime. So if you're looking to get one, you could do that for your own home use as well. I'll kind of show you how I have mine set up. Mine is. I just have it tucked underneath my TV stand here. And this one's really nice. It's got a, two USBs if you want to charge something on the front of it, which I don't use. Uh, the back panel on it, uh, the, I'm not going to be able to get this out of here. I have it tucked in there pretty good. But if you look here, the back panel, you have four, which side is this? Four of these are for the backup battery, which is this side here. I'm sorry, five. And the other five are just for surge protection. And you can hook your cable, ethernet, and all that stuff up to it. You know, this is more for um, your computer setup, but I'm not using it for that. So, I have everything hooked up on mine to my aquarium. The only thing I don't have on the backup battery side is the lights. So that way when I go and I do my aquarium maintenance, all I have to do is turn off um, my surge protector here, which is tied into the backup battery side of my UPS, and my lights will still stay on so I can still see what I'm doing when I uh, maintenance my tank. But this is a, a really nice backup battery. Like I said, it's got a display, and it will show you everything that's going on. So right now, without the heater running, I'm running 0.36 kilowatts, which is good. Now when the heater kicks on, um, add 300 to that because it's 300 watt heater. So you can go through the output. I, I silence the alarm. It, you can have it beep if it goes into a, an issue or it has a problem where your power goes out. Uh, shows your, your battery capacity and my load capacity, which is really low right now because this, everything on here, the two power heads, the filter, air pump, uh, this is typically what it, it pulls. Like I said, when a heater comes on, add 300 to this. If we scroll through here, my output right now is 36 VA. Uh, I'm out only at 3, 4% usage on this backup battery, which is very low. Uh, my battery is charged at 100%. Estimated run time for what is running right now, 400 and, I don't know, it's peaking around 415 minutes. So do the math on that, and I, what is that, six hours, something like that? Um, I don't have a calculator in front of me. No, it's, it's, it's something like that. I think it's around six hours. That's not a lot of time, but it's good enough where if I'm at work, um, it, it, it'll it extend it long enough to where if I get home, I can fire up a generator or I can look into an additional power source. Another good thing about having these hooked up is it filters dirty power. And what I mean by dirty power is you have you have uh, peaks in your, um, if you have any peaks in your incoming power from your power company, like any spikes, uh, it'll filter all that out. It keeps consistent power to all your equipment. So input 120 volts, output 120 volts. And this is what I mean, like if you have inconsistent uh, inputs to your home it'll always maintain 120 volts uh, 60 uh, Hertz which is standard in the USA and again back to the output of what the tank is doing so I just want to give you a quick overview on that you can see my the one side that's my light back there and my surge protector is just running into the backup battery side and then this is just plugged into the wall it's been a good setup uh, so far. I haven't really had uh, any power outages or anything. But if you're looking to get a backup battery, I suggest getting the biggest one you can afford. 
d depending you know if you get one of those three thousand dollar ones it's it's going to take up a lot of room this one i like because it gave me at least a few hours to where if my power does go out uh, i have time to go outside and set up a generator and run an extension cord inside for my tank you know it's just uh it, it provides a buffer period to where when it goes out it's just it's not out like i don't have to react immediately <clears throat> and the display goes out you don't really notice it um so yeah if you have any questions just leave them in the uh, comment section like i said in the description i'll put in the formula that you can use to to kind of figure out what you need um for your your power and you can kind of figure out uh which one you uh want to buy i think i got this one on best buy they shipped it that kind of messed up I think I paid $130 or $150 for this. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching.